Hi. Ready? Yeah. Hi, I'm Chloe Gray, and this is my BFA exhibition um, call. I'm Dante Perosi, and my BFA exhibition is Next Door. So, I, I wanted to talk to you guys together, I guess partly because you're next door to each other, but it also seemed like there's a sort of a, a, a kinship. Chloe, you've, you've, put, you've made like these giant, you've taken these tiny sort of organismic ideas and made them giant pieces on the wall, giant relative to molecules anyway. And, and then Dante, you've taken these giant cities and made them sort of tiny pieces on the floor. Mm -hmm. So it seems like there's some sort of formal, maybe resonance to be thought about. And, and in a sense also, I mean, they're pretty different shows in a way, but something about them, I don't know, I felt connected. And do you see any connections? Or maybe just say a little bit about what the shows even are before I, before I dig for connections. <laughs> um, well, that's... That is something I haven't thought about in comparing my work to Chloe's because I feel like um, our materials and subject matter are so different. Yes. But that, that is something to think about. Um, and I guess to talk about my show, um, I feel like we should talk about your show since, since we're in since it Since we're right here, now. okay, let's start here. <laughs> yeah. so, so Chloe, tell us what, what are we looking at? Um, we're looking at small objects that I've crafted over um, made out of found and reused materials um, and they're all twisted or twined, sewn um, and they're kind of little gestures that I've, I've kind of labored over. Um, lots and lots. Yeah, lots and lots, a about a hundred or so. Um, these are more, uh, I've worked over them longer. Um, they started um, as drawings in my sketchbook and um, unlike the other drawings on the or the other sculptures on the wall, um, they took a lot more uh, planning. Um, those are more immediate so um, the prints on the walls are more immediate. Great. The, where the um, I use the material and dip it into the ink and just make prints that way. So, um, so Dante, why don't we run next door and let's go see your show. So we're leaving the CSULB Werby Gallery and heading into the Dutzi Gallery, which we might not stay too long because it looks like you've got a lot of visitors, but we could at least take a peek. Um, so, tell us. Well, um, this, the floor pieces here started off as, um, as individual sculpture. This sheet was a wood sculpture originally that I made, and I took a mold of it and made multiple castings in uh, traditional building materials. And so they're units that are repeated and create a larger form, and I guess now I am uh, realizing what a good connection would be between my show and show, Chloe's show is, you know, a lot of smaller units making up a larger mass. Mm -hmm. so. There is kind of a lot of accreting, yeah. isn't there? Repetition happens, yeah. But my show is a lot about um, architecture, addressing the floor and the walls, and it also has some some things to do with memory, especially these pieces over here. But, uh, so being on the ground isn't, you know, obviously that unusual. Jackson Pollock, of course, took his canvas off the off the easel and put it on the ground and, and changed a lot of things with that. But still, I think when we go into these galleries, it's it's common to see things on the wall a little more than the floor, maybe. Yeah. I, was it any kind of transition for you to think about working on the floor, or did sculpture naturally put you there anyway? Or? I actually made these pieces to be on the floor, um, and actually to be walked on. Ah, good to know. It's a durable material, so it's totally what is it? fine. It's a durable material. It's urethane and concrete mixture, my special recipe. Aha. Uh -huh. And, uh, <laughs> So it's very durable. You can walk on it. Yes. So, um, you know, galleries and museums were always so reverent. Like, we just, you would walk in and just assume you don't walk on it. And when you tell me to walk, it's, 
I already have a different kind of intimacy, it seems like. You know, I feel a texture under my feet. And uh, printmaking always sort of, I think, is kind of interesting because the paper is so glorious, but then you put it behind glass and you never get to, to touch the thing that was so, so special yeah. at, at one point. I feel like intimacy with the work is something that our, our um, process kind of relates through with my yeah. work you can kind of you go up close to the objects and you're not like glancing glancing at them you mm -hmm. kind of have to investigate you them. have to get up close and the same here you know like you can walk across them and feel that um, and you're both bf these, these are two bfa sculpture exhibitions you're both finishing your program yeah. yes wow and, and so what next grad school or the world or, or what Take a little break. Take a little break. Then the world. Then the world. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Bye, you. Um, I'm going to take a little break and kind of live a little bit outside of school. See how that affects my and, future. And how's the sculpture program been? How's the experience been for you guys? It's been great. I feel like the most important part is bonding with your classmates and, you know, creating the connections that'll last a lifetime. Yeah, uh, just getting to know and taking repeated classes with certain faculty members has been really good so you can really get a relationship with them and um, and they know your work so they're really able to talk you talk you through it um, help you out um, and so do you do you have any questions for each other something about each other's work that you're curious or I might want to know or <laughs> Not to put anyone on the spot, of course. Um, I think I'm on the spot, and I yeah, and I'm. <laughs> well, we've been. I mean, we've been talking about our shows together for the entire semester because we've known we'd be showing the same week. So. Not to say I'm an expert at all on your show, but I mean, I feel like we've been asking each other the questions. Yeah. For months now. So, so tell me something about Chloe's show. Process. Well, I mean, did you talk about your material and your crafting of the crocheting and? Yeah. You did. Okay. I did sort of talk about that. I but think that we have to. It's okay. <laughs> um. I mean, our desks are very close to one another, so we kind of like, you know, subconsciously draw from one another maybe a little bit. We're right next to each other. And yeah. um, whether that's like um, how to position things in the room or like how to organize something, how to display, mostly display um, and um, presentation. Yeah. Because we, we've been like trying to figure out what our shows are going to be and also space. We, we switched galleries. I was originally going to be in this gallery. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. And um, because of, you know, the floor space was, is nice in this room, um, we, switched, we switched. It was mutually beneficial. Mm -hmm. there and is, I, I, mean, and I was wanting the walls and there's more wall space in the other room. So, so that's kind of how that happened. But there was a constant dialogue between our, our it was interesting for me coming into the two shows because they're obviously very different shows and yet somehow I just, I don't know, I just felt like I, uh, like, like there, there were two related in some fashion, mm -hmm. some connection that I just, mm -hmm. like the, the, the pieces across the hall are beautiful but I wouldn't confuse either of those with this. Right. Uh, but both of these somehow it felt like they did come from something related. Well, that, that is absolutely true. I mean, mm -hmm. we've been in this program together and helped each other from the beginning of this to, you know, Sunday's opening, so. Mm -hmm. Well, congratulations on completing the BFA journey. Two beautiful shows. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Good luck mm -hmm. down the road. Thank you. Oh. <laughs>